What's up, guys and dolls? We're going to talk about crazy experiences with the pots. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> We've got some hoops of the stories to share about the pots. We're not really one for drugs and all that. You know, we don't, we don't do all that kind of stuff. But the pots. We've had some experience with the pots. And, um, I mean, I've got my own story to tell. But I think we should start with your chocolate chip story. <laughs> <laughs> so, I had a friend who made special chocolate chip cookies, and she brings one, brings them to me, and she's like, here, take this home, and enjoy it, you know. I can't hug that while you're talking. So, enjoy it, you know, and just have a nice little feeling. So, I get home, and it's just a little video cookie, not, it's maybe half dollar size, maybe a little bit bigger, and um, so I eat half of it, I wait 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and I don't, I'm like, well, I don't feel nothing, so I'm like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and eat the rest of this cookie. Boy, was that a mistake, <laughs> because I got so freaking paranoid, I was in my shower, Trying melting, to melt I just I was so hot <laughs> and so paranoid. I thought people were coming in my house and everything. I just stayed in the shower. I know I was in the shower for a good hour, hour and a half. Listen, because I would have never stayed in the shower if I was up if I was that paranoid because I'd have had that psycho lady coming back to me. <laughs> no 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 no. I especially thinking somebody's in the house. I, there's no way I will stay in the shower. It was awful. Like it was awful. Needless to say, that was my last experience with uh, chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You know, and I've never had anything other than just like a nibble of a brownie with pots in them. Mm -hmm. And it didn't really, it didn't seem to do anything to me. And, and so I was cool with that because I was really kind of scared <laughs> right. of what it will do because I don't want to melt. I mean, I knew your story. I don't want to melt. Um, but then, you know, um, last year for my birthday, somebody bought me those gummies. Mm -hmm. And I'd never had those either. And um, tried one of those. And everybody else, like, then went to bed. I don't even remember why. Were you just... <laughs> <laughs> well, did it mess you up enough to go to bed? I don't even know why I everybody think it was, went to it bed. it was just late. We were all just kind of like, but we, I, we've been, you know, we've been up for a while. Yeah. But I was sitting here by myself watching TV. And I turned on this movie, and it, it looked really great and really captivating. It showed, like, all this imagery at first, you know, like the land and oceans and different things. And I'm not hearing anything, and I'm just thinking cool that's just the way it starts right but I'm hot so I just keep watching right and there's no sound and I watched the whole day it was like 45 minutes that I'm into it and I'm like why can I not hear and there was no noise in the house and I'm thinking I done went deaf <laughs> I was really starting to panic and so I went to turn the volume up louder to see if that mattered and noticed that the mute had been on the whole time and I was like oh my god I've literally just sat here for 45 minutes freaking out thinking I'm going down <laughs> and it's the damn mute button the whole time uh, lessons learned, don't do pot. <laughs> right? Because it really can make you stupid. And I was blonde at the time anyway. I mean, naturally blonde, so I don't need no help. <laughs> no offense to any blonde people out there. Don't take that the wrong way. But you know, you know the punchline. You know the joke. Blondes are thingy. And this one, I don't care if this hair is dark now. I'm dingy sometimes. I'm like the, the smartest dingy person I know. Or the dingiest smart person. Whichever way you would say that. Yeah, something like that. Yes. And then there was the time that our one friend was over and took some of them same gummies 
and it made them plum wiped out. They got <laughs> goofy and silly and couldn't walk straight and had to go lay down and sleep it off. Yep. And I was like, these gummies are serious stuff. <laughs> so no more for me. <laughs> I ended up giving them all away. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't want that. I don't need that in my life. I yeah, like that kind I didn't. Of, I didn't like that. I didn't like I that feeling at all. I ain't never like melted the way you did. It like, was. It I was terrifying. Never, like I was terrified. Like you know. I wonder if it was like dabs or something instead of just regular marijuana. You know I what I mean? Like, I don't know, but I know that I was tripping out, and I mean, of course, you know, I don't, nobody lived with me at the time, and uh, I was. I was, I was scared to death. Like, I didn't, I just felt like I was going to die of a heart attack. That's how I felt. Like, I just was like, I felt all, all crazy and jittery yeah. and, and hot. If, and That kind of makes me wonder if there wasn't something else in it. But it made me super paranoid, which is why I thought I was so jittery and, sh you know, I just thought it was that paranoid. Because, you know, you hear people say, pop makes me paranoid. And I'd be, I look at people and be like, paranoid? Why would pop make you paranoid? And, but... It's a real thing, cause look at me, and I don't, I don't like not being in control of my actions and all that. I don't even like getting drunk, yeah. so uh, I want to know what's going on at all times. And I didn't like yeah. that feeling, and I won't be doing that again. No, yeah. no. Check that off of the bucket list. Yeah, <laughs> no. Never to do again. It was. It That's was the trippy. way I feel about it too. I don't want no. I don't want no food with it in it. And I'm, I'm an adult, so I would, with, you know, stuff. with a little bit of weight on them, so, so you did something like that, it'd probably take you. Oh, Lord. It'd take I, you to I'd the floor. Have, I'd have been praying to Jesus and probably going to a hospital <laughs> to confess my sin. <laughs> you was, know what I mean? Like, it make was, it stop. Yeah, it was. Take it out. It, it was not fun at all. Like, Baby I did not enjoy that experience at all. Like, yeah. it wasn't an enjoyable experience enjoyable for me yeah so. i don't understand what the hype's all about really except that you hopefully end up with a funny story well because <laughs> i mean yeah. in my case that was pretty stupid and funny and i can laugh at myself for being dumb yeah and you know yeah i was i felt no like harm, the wicked no witch foul. you know i was melting in the shower <laughs> i'm melting i'm melting <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the water didn't help either. So you know, we just—I think it made it worse. Yeah, I think it does make it worse, honestly. Um, there was this other time I was at a place that had like a hot tub, hot tub or a jacuzzi or something, and one of the people at the party decided they were gonna go smoke a big fatty and hop in the hot tub thing. And they're sitting there, and we're like. Like, all of a sudden, they just kind of look weird, <laughs> you know? They're just too loose. And uh, we were like, Sony Stanley, we were like, hey, so-and-so, are you okay? And they are like, yeah, somebody needs to help me get out. <laughs> and we were like, what? <laughs> somebody needs to help me get out. I mean, even their mouth was just, Ugh. And they said that the heat from the hot tub or whatever made them just turn to spaghetti. I guess because they were so hot. I probably have alcohol doing that to you, but... We know, this was just... Mm. I mean, they might have had a drink or two, but nothing crazy. Yeah, no. And I mean, they were just... It took three of us to get... And he's, he was a skinny dude, but it took three of us to drag him up out of there. It was wild. Yeah, nah, that's not for me. I, and yeah, I was like, mm -mm, nope, that's not, that's not cool either. Yeah, that's not for me. Yeah. It's one thing to just be relaxed... But it's another thing to be like, you Gone. just don't even know. Or where you can't, yeah, that's creepy. That's scary. That's yeah. scary. That's very creepy. Because that can lead to whole, a whole, different whole other game. things. I know. Yeah. One time, I somebody slipped me that um, weird Mickey, the date rape drug one time when I was at a bar. And I, like, I knew right away just because I'm hypersensitive to, to everything. Smell, taste, sound, all that. And my tongue just kind of tasted different. All of a sudden, and all, all I was drinking was Coke. So I knew something happened. And I just got straight in my car and started driving home. And I'm on the damn bridge coming across from one state to the other to get home.
and that freaking bridge came to life, man. It was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. It was so scary. And it was everything in me to get home, and I literally, like, fell out of the car and ended up on the driveway. And my, thankfully, my roommate, girlfriend, his girlfriend was still awake, and they heard me, I guess, fall out of the car and drug me in, and I was out for three days. Gee, that's... I mean, it's like... And I know exactly who that was. That was that damn young Bin Laden dude that came for Derby. Remember me telling you mm -hmm. about that? Because he came in with this whole soiree of... His little entourage. Yeah, his entourage. And wanted to talk to me while I was out on the dance floor. And I kind of dissed him. I just sort of laughed at him and dissed him. Because I don't want nothing to do with no foreign prince. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... Talk about stranger danger. Right. You know, for me, that's just the way I felt about it. It was stranger danger. It was, like, seriously a dangerous thing. But I think it was him and one of his dudes that did that because it pissed him off. Mm -hmm. But I dissed him. I guess, you know, where he comes from, they don't do that shit mm -hmm. to him. Probably Everybody kisses not. his ass. But I'm not a ass kisser. I'm an American girl. That's right. So I'm like, yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm all American pack my weapon and I'll spit as fur as the boys <laughs> and yeah I, he didn't he didn't like that at all apparently uh, lesson learned <laughs> don't smart off anyway yeah that's, <laughs> you know? that's a scary that's a scary thing because that could have been a whole Ooh, I'd have been gone child yeah, they went done, south quick do me yeah all the way to Florida south because that's where they lived <laughs> yeah I could have went south quick yeah they were up here for derby that's where they came from, was Florida. I mean, that's where all of them lived until after our whole, you know, Twin Towers thing happened. And they all got escorted out of the country in the middle of the night under a no-fly zone by a certain president. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was a whole crazy thing. But yeah, they were, they literally lived in Florida. And he'd have done threw me in there white van or their limousine or one of them vehicles that was in his whole line of people, mm -hmm. you know, and I'd end up in Florida and nobody would ever seen my ass again. That'd be sad. I'd be so sad. Right? Yeah. Wasn't meant to happen that way. Nope. God kept me safe and got me home. That I mean, that was nothing short of a miracle. I'm convinced of it. So, I mean, for me, like, I don't care for drugs, <laughs> you know. Right. I ain't one of them people that cares about no drugs. I want nothing to do with none of them, not the kind that I can take myself or the kind that somebody else can slip to you. That's I right. I ain't a fan. I ain't a fan of none of it. I'd rather have my person intact and my consciousness intact and my dignity intact mm -hmm. and, you know, all of it. The whole nine yards. But, I mean, you know, the occasional gummy experiment or chocolate chip cookie or well, brownie they, or whatever, hopefully is harmless enough, you know. We learned our lesson. I sure learned mine. <laughs> I don't want to do it again. I ain't doing it twice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't ever want to feel that again. Uh-uh. I didn't like it. And I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Like, right. If somebody was asking me, I'd be like, don't do that. Because this was my experience. <laughs> right. It's trippy. Yeah, I mean, you ate the whole cookie, though. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, I was dumb. See, that tells you how much I knew. And everybody there was like, you know, you weren't supposed to eat the whole cookie, so we're supposed to eat that, but why do I know? I don't do this yeah, shit. Yeah, or a quarter of it. Yeah, I don't do this shit, so how would I even know? Well, I don't do that shit, but I knew. So well, I, I, I must be, I don't know how you I must know. be that dumb blind <laughs> joke thing there, because I didn't have a clue. Yeah, I knew and, you were supposed to have a smidge of one. Well, I ate the whole damn thing. So, Ooh, and yeah. I was... Melting. Melting. <laughs> yeah. What so. you call it? Skin peeling paranoia? <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. I called it. Cause. That's what we're going to title the video. Skin peeling paranoia. Hmm. For mm -hmm. a reason. But yeah, um, I mean, mostly it's harmless. I need a shirt that says, don't eat the cookie. Ah, you do. <laughs> you do need a shirt. I'm going to get you one for Christmas. Don't, Don't eat, eat the eat cookie. cookie. <laughs> yes. Totally. Instead, instead totally of crack kills, cookie kills. I'm going to have
have like a cookie with a little pot leaf inside of it. <laughs> Lord. I'm totally going to have that shirt made for you. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, but with all this crazy being said about different things, marijuana as a medicinal purpose is very good, though. I'm Like, I ain't dissing the pints. Yes. Because it's great for lots of arthritis and mm -hmm. diabetics and um, people with anxiety or PTSD. It helps with headaches sometimes too. Headaches, like it just yeah, relaxes. People that have eating disorders. Yeah. I've heard that people on chemo treatments and stuff that it helps them to feel hungry so they can eat, so they can build their strength mm -hmm. back up. So I mean, it's it's definitely got its good points if it's used properly. That's the whole you know, key right and there. And epilepsy, it really helps great with epilepsy, from what I understand. There's been some good studies on that, apparently. So, yeah, or maybe it's like the, what do you call it, like the THC in it or something is what does it? No, oh, I don't know. I don't know either. Something like that. But there's definitely some good compounds in it, you know, just like any other herb or plant on the planet. I feel like all of them are good for something. Mm-hmm. We just gotta figure out what. They're here for a reason. Yeah. They have a purpose. That's right. I agree. Yeah, I don't think we have any anything that doesn't have a purpose. I don't either. You know, some somewhere in that long chain of events that goes on, there's a reason that we have this plan or that plan, or you know. Mhm. Mm I think so too. Um. Even I learned this recently. You know, we talk about the poison sumac trees that grow native around here. Mm -hmm. And if you touch them suckers, dude, you break out in some awful, like, poison ivy type rash. I mean, it's really bad. But apparently the Native Americans actually use parts of that tree medicinally. For what? I don't remember what it said it was for, but I was, like, blown away by it. I was like, oh. <gasps> What? Because I'd be afraid to even touch it. Yeah, the juice. Uh, how did they harvest that, yeah. it without getting it all over? Because you them? definitely, uh, I wouldn't see it being anything you would consume. No, you did consume it. Whatever, I don't know if it was the root or the bark or what it was of it, but there was something they used and would, I guess, made a tea from what hmm. I remember. They would make a tea out of it for something that, dude, don't go trying that shit unless you know what you're doing. Because, um, Poison sumac ain't nothing to no. sneeze at. My kids played hide and seek under it one time and come out covered in head to toe had it. I mean, it was awful. It was worse than any poison yeah. ivy I ever saw. But That's yeah. Bad. I think God gave us everything we need. We just don't know what it all does yet. Because apparently even some of the stuff that I thought was bad you know, maybe if, if you use it right, you've mm -hmm. got some good purpose, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, that's our uh, show for today. We wanted to lighten up the mood for people and share some funnies about our bizarre experiences with the marijuana plant in food. <laughs> crazy, crazy food. Thank you for joining us. Tune in again next time.